opportunity to talk live about Garbage because I am so excited about this new film, The Story of Stuff. This film is just completed. It was completed about three days ago. It's gonna be released next month, but I wanted to give you a sneak preview because it relates so much to the issues that we're gonna be talking about this weekend. It will be on the web in October. The web page is not yet functional, but if you would like to be informed when it is available or if you would like to help distribute it, well, there will be a sign-up sheet at the IFG table, so please sign up and we'll let you know. And if you do want to talk about Garbage Live, I will be delighted to any other time this weekend. So may I introduce the story of stuff. I got a little obsessed with mine. In fact, I got a little obsessed with all my stuff. Have you ever wondered where all the stuff we buy comes from and where it goes when we throw it out? I couldn't stop wondering about that, so I looked it up. And what the textbook said is that stuff moves through a system from extraction to production to distribution to consumption to disposal. All together, it's called the materials economy. Well, I looked into it a little bit more. In fact, I spent 10 years traveling the world, tracking where our stuff comes from and where it goes. And you know what I found out? That is not the whole story. There is a lot missing from this explanation. For one thing, this system looks like it's fine. No problem. But the truth is, it's a system in crisis. And the reason it's a system in crisis is it's a linear system and we live on a finite planet and you cannot run a linear system on a finite planet indefinitely. Every step along the way, this system is interacting with the real world. In real life, it's not happening on a blank white page. It's interacting with societies, cultures, economies, the environment, and all along the way, it's bumping up against limits. Limits we don't see here because the diagram is incomplete. So let's go back through. Let's fill in some of the blanks and see what's missing. Well, one of the most important things that's missing is people. Yes, people. People live and work all along this system. And some people in this system matter a little more than others. Some have a little more say. Who are they? Well, let's start with the government. Now, my friends tell me I should use a tank to symbolize the government, and that's true in many countries and increasingly in our own. After all, more than 50% of our federal tax money is now going to the military. But I'm using a person to symbolize the government because I hold true to the vision and values that government should be of the people, by the people, for the people. It's the government's job to watch out for us, to take care of us. That's their job. Then along came the corporation. Now the reason the corporation looks bigger than the government is that the corporation is bigger than the government. Of the 100 largest economies on earth now, 51 are corporations. And as the corporation has grown in size and power, we've seen a little change in the government where they're a little more concerned in making sure everything's working out for them. The website's not ready yet. It's gonna be thestoryofstuff.com and thestoryofstuff.org, but it's not up yet. <laughs> We're not quite ready. If you sign up on the sign-up sheet that I'll have out at the IFG table, put your email there and we'll let you know as soon as it's ready. And I have a special box there if you wanna help distribute it, if you have any ideas of how to get it around, we'd love to collaborate with you. Thank you so much.